Well, hello. It's a wonderful thing to be in Basel. And I love meeting other people uh, in this general community. I want everybody on Earth to know about This is absolutely spectacular. I love your work. Thank Tell you. me how you create it. What do you use? Acrylic or oil or what? I mix everything. So normally it's forbidden to mix oil and acrylic, but I mix everything. Like uh, I'm an intuitive painter, and um, so I use what I have. I make everything on. It can also be plaster or something else. So it's really about my intuition. And uh, so what happens with the intuition uh, for you? Let's say uh, we were doing a painting right now, and uh, you were having an intuition. So what was the first thing that happened before you come home? So that's a very uh, difficult moment. It's right over, so uh, I, I don't like this moment. We start off with one idea, and it winds up being what it wants to be, yes. and it doesn't matter what we think. Yes. And actually, uh, I'll tell you something, everything I do is music. So it's what the music decides is going to be in the art. And I, I must confess, you know, people talk about putting their emotions in. Whenever I put my emotions and not the music in, it's always stuck. So, <laughs> let's go over each of the artworks, and you tell me about them, and uh, let's get a good shot of them. You can hold the camera as you'd like and see where it is, and why don't you tell me about this wonderful work here. So, we have to go a little bit back, because That's it's, a, it's a, it's yeah, a big, we'll they are big ones. Um, right, so what about the one on the left? So, the, the one on, on the left, we have here that the topic is art and climate. And where I live, I, was, uh, I had uh, two natural catastrophes. Uh, they destroyed my village where I lived and another village where I lost uh, friends. And that's uh, about this, um, this uh, uh, impression uh, about natural catastrophe when the ice melts, a lot of water came and uh, fall down uh, to the, to the um, villages or the cities and destroy everything. So it's, you see here, uh, you see here the mountains, uh, you see a, a little uh, bit of the glacier, it's the silver stripes, uh, it's not so clear here in the camera, but there are silver well, stripes. Well, let's go closer and, and see them. Yes, okay. You see here the silver stripes, they are shining um, when I move. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, so, they are shining a little bit, and that's the silver I take for the water, so it's, it's the rest of ice smelting ice and uh, you see also this dark um, birds. Oh, what a beautiful there. combination of colors. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And these black uh, birds, we have a lot of them in our mountains. And uh, I think when everything is destroyed in the nature, uh, the man cannot live anymore, but the nature will recover. So, the nature don't need us. We need the nature, so that's, that's the, the big topic we had. We should have to recognize. And here you see the this second one. Piece. So when we go a little bit further away. So just go as back yes, as you want. Yes, yes. So you see um, in the middle of this painting, it's uh, a woman. A woman is coming out of the ice. And uh, I don't know if if you, they hear us, <laughs> they don't. It's all right because <laughs> okay. they're seeing your art, which is what counts. 
you know, as I've said before, people know need to know about the inherent violence of the German art yeah. movement today. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. Yes, uh, we have uh, stories in where I come from, in my homeland. We have the story that uh, dead people that, who didn't do well, they have to be for thousands of years in the in the um, eternity of the ice. So now the ice is melting, and all these lost souls come up. And uh, we can see them in the, during the nights when they come up. They walk around on the, the, the rest, the, the, the little bit of the ice we have, uh, the smelting ice. And they have also own, um, always a little um, candle with them. And we call this Arme Seelen, the lost souls. And this is about this, uh, this story I have in my homeland since hundreds of years. We, to we talk about these uh, lost souls. They come up out of the eyes. And let's take a close look just so people can see the beauties of it. That's yes. always the point here, of art. Here I have so show, the, the, show us the uh, stuff you think people would love and looking yes, at the so details. So have you the head from behind? You see this woman coming out of the eyes. And oh, then that's I've, pretty. See I've, the, the, see the there? Yes, she's and sitting then, there. And then I took gold, uh, the contrary to the silver, because gold is the color of the sun, it's the color of the power, and uh, there is a lot of sun that smelt our nature and our uh, glaciers. So that's why we, we lose these uh, glaciers in the Swiss mountains. That's uh, a pity, and I'm very sad about this. So you see also again these uh, blackbirds. Sometimes it's a sign of our mountains that everywhere we have these blackbirds, and then when I go down, the smelting ice, you see the structure I give. So we have these um, deep holes, people can fall in, and here the souls came out. So. Okay, now tell us about this one. So this one is, uh, the, the colored one is the last bivouac. The people who, they go to mountains and they take the tent with them and well, when the mountains are not safe in, enough, when the stones are falling down, the ice is falling, uh, everything is moving, so you can't go anymore to the mountains, and that's why this uh, picture is called the last box. So the last place you have been with your tents before going up to the top of the mountain, and um, it will not be any more possible in future, I think. Okay, and then this one? Then this one, that's a candle. We have the Kerzen glitter, like the glitter of the, the last candle. We, we can only have uh, light by candle because we have this uh, energy lack now. So we, ha we have to be, we have to get used to less, um, less light when, where we live. And this is a candle. With one candle, you can give so much light and it's not necessary to, to lighten everything. I need, I, I need you to show people this because this is a spectacular use of texture yes. uh, in an unusual way mm -hmm. where usually, you know, the more textured it is, the more towards at us it is. Yeah. And what you've done, which is magnificent, is you've made the more textured part yeah. uh, the most deep away from people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yes, this is a, a painting on wood. And wood takes out the, the color, so the color is really going in this wood inside. There was no layer on that the texture stays up. So I need a lot of color to make, to paint on wood. Uh, so that's why I, um, you see this texture. You see these uh, faces, the dog faces around this, uh, this hole, how to say, eine Höhle. Um, it's a place you can, you can also go in. And with the light of a candle, you, you can see everything. So you use also the light. And then we have this texture here. It's about water, and the light is shining on this water. And it's also a lot of movement inside. But when you go a little bit away, it's a blue, black, and uh, a different, different kind of blue, and this uh, light of this candle. That's wonderful. I've Thank saved you very much. my favorite for last. Okay. And that's over oh, here. Okay. <laughs> and I think this is absolutely extraordinary. Uh, if I had money in my pocket, it would be in my house. Oh, but of that course, would be nice. It's yeah. all the way in the United States. So okay. that's it. I have an Australian friend who asked me to 
come to her exhibit, and I'll say, sure, just give me the same data, and I'd be happy to yeah. watch it. Yeah. Okay. Tell us about this magnificent yes. so, work. This work is, uh, you see a city, but you see also a wolf inside of this uh, picture, and you see a little girl with a red cap, so you know perhaps this story about the red-capped little girl with the I wolf? don't, and yeah. I don't think other people do because they are in the United States. Yes, from okay, Leonardo. okay. So tell me the story. So huh? the story of this uh, little girl we can see here. I have to see. Yes. Um, this is the red cap of the girl, and here you see the head of the wolf with his eyes. And the story in Switzerland we have, uh, it's a story for children, but uh, well, for children it's, it's a bit um, a, a special, special story because this wolf uh, eats children and he's going to the place of in the grandmother. In other words, it's the, it's the uh, preference of parents everywhere to <laughs> have one appear. <laughs> So uh, when the red cat uh, little girl came to her grandmother and bring cookies, so there was not the grandmother in the bed, it was the wolf and uh, he was eating then the girl because uh, the girl didn't what uh, she should do. But here I take this story and we can perhaps go one step back. It's a one meter forty to one meter, this picture. And um, it's also the... Um, we have no place in the cities and in the nature, so that the animals come to our, to our cities and we have this, um, how do you say in English, uh, stress. it's a stress about place. So that's why I mix here as, um, uh, a city, um, you have the stones and the houses, but also the nature with this wolf and this red, red uh, cap girl. And now let me make a comment and let's show them something about our art currently. Yes. Uh, we use both lines and uh, textural planes. And this is a beautiful example of that and why that works. When you look at the bowl, you can see the texture that makes it and gives us a Russian character. Mm -hmm. But what I want people to really see is behind the bowl here, and you can see, which I also use very much in mine, lines that cross over the texture, mm -hmm. which has two effects for me. I don't know if that does for you. Yes, the, the first effect is that it divides the texture into multiple planes for people to look at. And the second thing which I discovered, you know, the lady, uh, the German lady who does all the... Uh, the lights. I've forgotten her name. Yes. She was a great... Team. Everybody knows her. Yes. And what she taught me is that lines can be before or afterwards. Mm -hmm. And this is a perfect example of that. You can see this line is before the structure. Yes. It could be used afterwards. And look over here how it's continuing. And now it's way in front of the uh, background mm -hmm. texture. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's one of the most impressive features, I think, of the, the art today that we have in this part of the world. Yeah. It's been a pleasure and uh, Thank you very much. oh no. Pleasure.